Hey, David here with Guide Recommended. I keep getting asked, what is a good fly tying kit? What's a good fly tying kit? Rolling into that fly tying class I've talked about, and to be part of that, check out that link below, how to fly fish. But in that, you're gonna be part of the email list that goes into my class, my beginner fly tying class. So, checked out a lot of fly tying kits the Orvis kit, uh, a Cabela's kit. I actually started way back with a Cabela's kit, um, but I settled on what I think for a beginner focuses on the right stuff, quality materials, quality hooks, and some pretty good tools. Nah, I mean, not tie, you can go crazy with tools, but it gives you a chance to tie a quality fly that's gonna catch fish with the essential tools. So it is, the hairline, hairline beginning fly tying kit. 20 different patterns in here. I'm gonna go through it, but uh, I think there's enough hooks in here. Three dozen plus flies, 20 patterns, nymphs, dries, streamers, all that stuff. So let's get into busting this guy open. I'm gonna try to do this quick. There's a lot in here. I just opened it up and kind of organized it a little bit, but this is the hairline beginner fly tying kit. So um, it is their economy kit, which has the uh, a little bit simpler, but still a pretty nice vise um, clamping mechanism right here. So we'll step through this real quick. So, but here's the vise. Pretty nice clamps down with this big knob here. I like how it pinches. It's gonna fit well on my desk, work well for my fly tying class. So let's hit the tools. Hair stacker, I like that guy. Scissors, pretty nice quality. A bobbin, which is a ceramic tip, so which is really nice. Reduces fraying. You have a bod kin so bodkin is a little tool you can put you know a head cement on you can pick out little hairs ear nymphs make them buggier and then on this end is actually a half hitch tool you have some hackle pliers very nice we have a whip finish tool We've got another video i'll put it up above how to use or how to tie with a whip finish a couple different sizes of beads, large and small, great for streamers and nymphs. Love beads, love indicator fishing and nymph fishing. I counted the hooks, 60 hooks, different sizes, dries, um, down to 18. Guy is a uh, 3X, number eight. We got here a bigger guy, looks like a size six for streamers. We have a nymph hooks, 14s. So a good variety of different size hooks. Again, 60. Really nice quality Loon Outdoors head cement. I like this stuff. A pretty decent, pretty decent book. What's in here? What's the goods? Threads, red. A couple blacks in different sizes for you know small dry flies, heavier nymphs. We got some brown seam, an eight and a six. So again, dries in nymphs. We have some tinsel, some yellow floss, some copper. We have some gold floss, fine wire, yellow thread as well. Great for you know things like elk hair cat is perfect. Half a hair's mask. We've got some peacock, strung peacock hurl, turkey feathers, pheasant tail. We have some tailing feathers. So I don't know if you can see that, but like a ginger and a grizzly, great for tails. Lots of chenilles. We got a black chenille. We have a coffee, I think is what it's called. Yeah, coffee. Great for like, they call them girdle bugs or patch rubber legs, like that. Some sparkling emerger yarn. Hungarian partridge. So this is nice for soft hackle flies. And then you can also use it for tails. Nice. Some marabou. Marabou. Some black saddles or some really nice quality kilo. Um, grizzly hen. Saddle hackle, nice there. Here is some grizzly neck hackle. Another nice set of Keog grizzly ginger hackle again. Um, coaster, 
Got to have your coffee or a little bit of different beverage. Some white para posts, good for indicators, good for posts on those parachutes. Some crystal flash included as well. Yellow bucktail, great for streamers. Some brown bucktail, great for streamers. Some deer hair. We got some bleached elk hair, perfect for elk hair caddis. I love fishing elk hair caddis. Some rabbit strips, good for streamers, right? Zonkers, muddlers, some rubber legs, some chenille. Oh, it's a fine chenille with like nice iridescence for San Juan worms. We've got some orange dubbing, so McFly foam, great for eggs if you tie eggs. Some ice green caddis, lots of flash in this. Like Cahill dubbing, so this is good again for our uh, elk hairs and use these on Adams. Fine micro dubbing, again a tan, good again for our dry flies, nymphs dubbing. We have some gray micro fine uh, dubbing, good for bodies again, and then some black micro fine dubbing. These bags look little, but doing a good job dubbing. You don't need much of the material itself, just a fine pinch onto that thread. So a complete kit, 60 flies, that's five dozen flies, a couple bucks a piece, that's 120 bucks. I think this whole kit rolls in around 140. Amazon, I'll have that link below. But again, this is the base level that I'm using to instruct my beginning fly tying class, which is gonna be included item in my how to fly fish class. So I'll put that link again. So dry fly fishing workshop, it's free videos with downloads and all that good stuff. Thanks.